Hi, we're Katie J and Carly, and you're watching The Music Enthusiast. I'm Sarah from The Music Enthusiast, and today I'm here with Katie J and Carly. How are you guys? We're good. Great. Thank you for having us. <laughs> of course. Thanks for wanting to talk to me. You guys are so cool. You guys are so gorgeous. You guys are so talented. <laughs> we'll have a little crying session right now. It's okay. <laughs> um, so I guess a great starting point right now is how are, how have you guys been doing with everything happening in the world right now? Um, um I mean it's been pretty crazy, <laughs> but we've been good. Uh, I think it's we're very thankful. That yeah, we have it a lot better than like a lot of people. Yeah. So and we have each other, and um, you know, we were especially in the beginning of all of this, we were able to kind of be together during this and still make music and still you know be able to create. So I'd say that we've just been actually pretty grateful. Um, and counting our blessings and, you know, looking on the bright side of life. Um, but it, it has been hard, but I think for the most part, we're just happy we're alive and breathing and, you know, still get to do what we love, so. Amazing. And obviously you guys are twins, but have, was music like always the thing you wanted to do together? Um, well, we both always grew up doing music together, but we never like actually like solidified like our duo band it yeah. was just kind of something we, we always, always did yeah. for fun it was always something I mean we both knew we would do music or something in an entertainment world when we were very young and you know we kind of both popped out of the womb singing so um you know we knew it was going to be something like that but I never thought that we'd be doing this um because you were doing a completely like I was going to do musical theater and she was going to do something different um but it all kind of just fell into place and I'm really glad it worked out that way because I know like you guys are sort of in like a musical family too so did that play a big part in what you're doing now definitely yeah I, they our family is just so I'm so thankful for them because they're so supportive in our musical endeavors and they're always like you guys listen to the song you guys should cover this. yeah like, <laughs> but yeah they totally like Mm -hmm. have like been a part of our musical upbringing. and our dad is super <laughs> musical as well so it's kind of nice to be able to like share that with him in a way so yeah, yeah but they have they had a huge impact on us uh roller coaster is being released tomorrow how are you guys feeling are you nervous or excited i'm or excited yeah i'm excited yeah. um i i really like this one so um i'm just excited to, to when we wrote it, it i was it was very like freeing writing it and like the my favorite part is the chorus because it's like it made when I listen to it I like feel like I'm actually like on a roller coaster I mean I don't go to amusement parks very often but <laughs> they're all closed they were all closed so it yeah made me kind of feel like I was on a roller coaster <laughs> or something but yeah I'm excited do you guys like roller coasters or are you like yes yeah, I, I love them. I, I love them. huge adrenaline do jockey. you um I'm afraid of heights, but I like the that um that one that's like a a ship. Oh, the pirate ship! Yeah. Oh my god, it's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, but it's so scary. <laughs> I'm afraid of heights, but for some reason, it's my favorite. I don't know why, but that was fun. Yeah, I think I, it's the comfort of having the people below you and above you. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um, and speaking of roller coaster again it definitely feels like you guys have like evolved between even like cherry coke do you feel that way too yeah I mean I think that with every release we do something is we learn something new or we add something different to it to you know almost mark our evolution as we learn and grow um but like cherry coke in the beginning was a huge change I mean it's a little bit more like rock influenced in my opinion um, and then, you know, we go from that one to this one, which is, I mean, it's still similar sounding, but it, it, it obviously sounds a lot different in certain ways. And so it's a huge testament to our growth and, um, it's really you know, crazy as people when we write the song, like we have this like inspiration from like a certain artist, like for this one, we like really were inspired by Maggie Rogers. And then when we started producing it, it was just, it just nothing. Compl yeah, it completely <laughs> changed. It like so different. That's so true. We started writing it off at a really almost like indie folk track and that we produced. And, um, you know, when we finished, it, it was, was like just, EDM, not, it just completely changed. And so <laughs> yeah, I think that with every song we do, it almost, 
it just has its own little journey and um on in itself and you know we just kind of go wherever it takes us it has like a mind of its own in a way i love that uh what was the creative process like because i know the song is like about being with someone who's not so stable and makes you feel like you're on a roller coaster so what was that like writing that sort of it was um, very cathartic um <laughs> yeah i think it was it was super fun writing um we wrote this song with charlotte bash um who's our good friend and she's an amazing writer and um yeah we just i mean we pretty much were just like sitting in our bedroom like kind of like talking about boy problems and how like you know, this person acts like a child, but they have serious moments too. And it's like, I love those moments when they're like the perfect person. And then, you know, they, they mess up or screw something up and then it's like ruins it. So we were kind of just talking about, you know, those are kinds of experience where if this person would just get their life together, they would be perfect for you, but they don't. So you have to let them go. Um, and that's kind of how time, it, it started. Like, the roller coaster is like, it's really exciting. Like, yeah, because like you get the ups and you get yeah, the, the highs really high and lows. And lows. <laughs> so yeah, that was it's kind insane. of the, the creative <laughs> process of writing it. That's kind of where the inspiration started. I'm glad you guys didn't make it into like a slow song because then I would cry. <laughs> I know. I feel like a lot of our uppy songs like low-key have the the saddest yeah <laughs> not that it's this one's sad really well but like you know what I mean <laughs> yeah like covering like covering up like a really sad lyric with like a dance beat you know like yeah right, right. <laughs> exactly it always makes it like a little ironic in that one and do you remember what came first while making this song lyrics beat melody uh um, I I think we produced it so first the, but it changed like we we wrote the song like the, on the piano. <laughs> From what I remember, I we like wrote the the melodies and the lyrics kind of simultaneously, and then but the track right? Simu- simultaneously. Simu- 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 anyway, <laughs> oh um, my god. <laughs> well, I so we produced it first, um, and then we wrote and did the melodies, um, lyrics, and all that. And then we completely changed it. Again. And then after we did right, that, right. Okay. we completely <laughs> redid the production. Um, we almost scrapped what we had before. Um, there are a few things that sound pretty similar. Like there's like the post in the song and like the outro and a few other places that have that like kind of euphoric folk song vibe to it, which, um, was a cool idea but it just didn't really translate very well and so um we kind of combined it so it was like the process was like production the lyrics and then redo the whole production <laughs> but yeah so that's kind of how we did it it was a roller coaster making <laughs> yeah it was a roller coaster making <laughs> funny pun there i love that <laughs> And you released Identity last year, so could we expect like another EP or full length thing coming soon? Yeah, Definitely. we have um we have EPs. Well, we have an EP in the work for next year. Two, next year, yeah. Two o two two. Two o two two. Um, yeah. Well, we have a couple of. We haven't really quite started it. We're kind of just laying out the you know the groundwork for it and theme and all that stuff, but. Uh, we're really excited for that one. It would be nice to get another body of work out there like that. Yeah, me too. I'm so excited to hear it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and this is a fun question. If you could describe your music as an animal, which animal would it be? Oh my god, I love that question. Oh my gosh, <laughs> <Wow>. that's <laughs> amazing. Um, well, my favorite animal is a sea otter. Oh my Actually, god, are you seriously about to describe our music as a sea otter? <laughs> no, it's it's not. <laughs> I would say it's um, like, I'm going to say a tiger. Okay. I want to say That's some type of bird. Like, <laughs> oh no. I, I, I <laughs> That's such tiger. a hard question, but I love it. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I'll say, I'll agree, a tiger. All right, yeah. Tiger. We both agree, tiger. <laughs> <laughs> you went from a bird to a tiger, like, real quick. It's a tiger <laughs> with wings. Oh my yeah. God, I love that. I love that. That's so cool. We make our own animals. A Pegasus <laughs> tiger, whatever that is. <laughs> and last question: Do you have any favorite up-and-coming artists you want to share at the moment? 
Um, I we yeah. both have been listening to a lot of uh, it's called Paris, but the A is a V. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're not. I mean, they're like pretty popular, but um, they're not like super mainstream. They're kind of. Um, I'm gonna look at my Spotify really quick. <laughs> I I just have so many random. <laughs> they're songs. they're not super. They're super pop, or they're pretty popular, but they're not like you know. Yeah up there a lot of people don't know about them so yeah you guys should check those them out for those of you watching they're called paris but instead of an a the a is a b yes um and their music's really good so i really like her music is a lot there's like all over tiktok but her name is aurora mm-hmm. um she sings that song like i was running far away when i don't want to oh it's so good i love her music though okay. i've been listening to her recently Awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys. It was so so much fun to talk to you. Yeah, Yeah, you too. Thank you so much for having us.